I find myself thinking about what I want to race. I'm finally feeling healthy enough to wrap my mind around the fact that I'm actually going to start be able to run a lot more. Hopefully in the springtime, there'll be some races for me to be able to run. So right now, I guess it comes down to heart rate training, but also whether I want to run on the road or I want to run on the trails. And training by heart rate, that can be challenging on both ends. So I have some thoughts about both of them today, and I thought I would share them with you. Today I'm trail running at Friday Harbor, just north of Toronto. And I'm trying to decide what my next race is gonna be. As you know, I've been slowly building up my aerobic base, and I'd like to put a race on the calendar, because to be quite honest, without a goal, <laughs> I'm basically lost at sea when it comes to training. So I do wanna put something out there I just don't know what it is yet. So you wanna know what's better, road running or trail running when you're using the map tone method. Let's dive into today's video and find out. Hey guys, my name is David Waters. I'm the Plan Powered Runner. And on my channel, I talk about running, heart rate training, gear reviews, nutrition, and, and me trying to run a 100 mile race. So if any of those things speaks to you, think about liking, subscribing, and commenting, and sharing, and all that fun jazz. Trying to figure out whether you should be running on the road or on the trail, it's always a challenging experience, especially when you're training by heart rate. There's so many different things on both sides. So you've got rocks and roots and everything else on the trails, but then you've got cars and sidewalks and all that kind of pedestrians and things like that out in the open. Plus you got a lot of the wind when you're outside of the trees. So every type of run is gonna be treated differently. Now, if you want to increase your distance using the Maffetone method and you're trying to keep your heart rate low and you're trying to run the whole entire time, what I would suggest is sticking to the roads, right? Stick to the road running because you don't have to deal with many of the obstacles that come your way when you're on the trails. Typically, when you're on the trails, you're doing a lot more hill running. Now, I'm not, to say, I'm not gonna say that there's no hills on roads. What I am saying though is, you're more likely to be going up and down, up and down, up and down than you would be if you were on the road. So think about that when you're trying to decide which way you're going to run. Decide what type of training you're gonna be doing. If you're doing purely Maffetone training and you're trying to build up the aerobic base, then running on the trails and on the road is helpful on both sides. But if you're, gonna, if you're training for a road race, then you may wanna stick to the road. If you're training for a trail race, you may wanna stick to the trails. But then you run into the case of your heart rate's gonna be all over the place because you're going uphill or you're going downhill. So how do you deal with that frustration? On your route, find a spot where it's flat. That way you know that you'll be able to run at a slow heart rate without having to worry about going up a hill. Now, don't worry about when the hill comes, right? You just gotta be paying attention to your watch. And as you slowly start to go up, you'll see your heart rate start to rise. So then you dial it back and you start to walk. Running on the trails is great. I love it. And it just brings me a lot of joy because I don't have to deal with any pedestrians and cars and all the road noise. I, I don't know about you guys, but I find like a lot of the road noise, you kind of start to get a little stressed. <laughs> But when I'm out in nature and amongst the trees like I am right now, it seems it's just so much more calming and I can just focus on running and not really think about anything else other than the rocks and the roots. And in doing so, my heart rate will stay lower. However, as soon as you start going up a hill, you're gonna have to walk. There's no two ways about it. it just depends on what kind of shape you're in. And for me, that's what it's about, right? It's all about keeping that low heart rate. And so you're not sacrificing your fitness. Your body, your heart doesn't know whether you're running up a hill or not. It just knows that your heart rate is starting to rise. And in doing so, if you wanna keep it in that particular zone, you're gonna to have to slow it down. And that may be walking while you're out on a trail run. And that's okay because trail runners, they do a lot of walking up on the hills and stuff like that, and that's okay. But if you're on the road, if you allow the ego to get the better of you, 
you're going to be looking around going, oh, all these people are looking at me running and now I've stopped and now I'm walking. What are they going to think of me and what are my running buddies going to think of me? Ah, uh -uh, stop it. Don't think like that. Just go out and do what you need to do for you. Forget about what other people are thinking about you. Just go out and run and enjoy it. And this is a new way of training for you. So enjoy that process and treat it as an, is it, treat it as an experience and journal about it because it's a lot of fun. So you've walked up to the top of a hill. Your heart rate has gotten higher and you're kind of discouraged, but then you look and then you're going downhill and you realize, oh my gosh, I could actually run downhill. And that's fantastic. Just be cautious that you don't go too fast, too soon. Because again, you don't want to pick up any injuries. But again, going downhill is so much easier to keep your heart rate lower and you'll be able to go faster. So if you're struggling with the uphills, just know that you got a downhill coming up and you can go ahead and let it rip, <laughs> so to speak. Last week I talked about my secret, like for runners, and it talked about nasal breathing and how that can be helpful to bring your heart rate down. I use that even when I'm running on the trails and it helps me and it allows me to stay focused on what I need to stay at. And so if I allow myself to just run and chest breathe, I'll find that my heart rate rises way faster than it would be if I actually just shut my mouth <laughs> and just was breathing through my nose. When you're running on the trails, you also have to think about all the uphills that you're doing. It's kind of like your strength training at the same time as you're running. And that to me is something that I really appreciate because again, I don't necessarily like always doing strength training just for the sake of strength training. I know it's helpful and it works, but I would rather run. So there are times when I'm running up the hills and I'm feeling, you know what? This is awesome getting some strength work in here at the same time as I'm actually getting my run in. Like I've been walking up a lot of hills with my wife over the last couple of weeks, building up my aerobic base, building up my strength. So that way when I'm back full time running, it's going to make all the difference to be able to slowly work back in without picking up an injury. Because right now I'm 100% and I'm feeling flipping amazing. And that hydrogen that I've been using is amazing. It's been so helpful and I'm going to be putting out a video on that next week. So watch for that because it works awesome. Now this one really doesn't have a distinction between road running or trail running other than you need to make sure you guys you stay hydrated. Too many of us runners don't think about running with water. We'll just go out and we'll do our run but we're so dehydrated even before we start. So your heart rate starts to rise because you haven't hydrated yourself enough. So you want to make sure that you're hydrating beforehand and when you're out on your run. Just depends on how long you're running for will determine how much liquid you're going to need. I know firsthand how my body reacts to being dehydrated and my heart rate rises guys. That's just what it does. So a little bit of an update for all of you guys. I am, like I said, I'm hundred percent. I'm feeling pretty awesome. Now I'm trying to figure out what kind of race I want to train for because without a goal for me, it's like being lost at sea without a paddle or an oar, right? Like I just don't know what I'm doing. So I'm thinking about what I'm actually going to be training for and what kind of training I'm going to have to do for that particular race. And right now I'm at a standstill at the moment because yeah, I want to run a hundred miler, but you don't just run a hundred miler like tomorrow type of thing, right? You got to slowly work your way back up. 5k, 10k, 20k, 30k, you know, slowly come back, right? Run a marathon and then maybe run a 50k or a 50 miler and then work up to that 100 mile distance. So again, it's all these, these different types of things I've been thinking of and trying to decide what it is I want to go ahead and do. So with all that in mind, I'm still don't know what I'm doing, <laughs> but I know in the coming weeks, I'm actually going to start putting these things on paper to decide exactly what the training is going to look like and how I plan on training for those particular races. So you'll want to stay tuned. If you want to follow my adventures on that, you'll want to subscribe and hit the bell notification. So that way, you know, when all of the 
videos come out so you don't miss any. This is the one thing I really love about fall. It looks so flippin' beautiful. Especially when the snow hasn't come yet. You can just see all the colors on the ground. It just looks totally different. Like I always say, get out and run. See you next week.